If you want to find out whether somebody or even yourself has a meniscus tear, there are three essential tests that you should perform. The good thing is that these tests are easy to perform. You don't have to be a doctor or a physiotherapist to do them. And actually they can be done in one minute or so. And also these three tests will give you an excellent picture of the situation. If the three tests are positive, it means that you definitely have a meniscus tear. If all three tests are negative, it means that you definitely have no meniscus tear. So the first test is to look for meniscal point tenderness. The second test is the hyperflexion rotation test. And the third test is the duck walk. In the first test, you look for meniscal point tenderness, either for the medial meniscus, when the pain or discomfort is located on the inside of the knee, or the lateral meniscus, when the pain or discomfort is located on the outside of the knee. Actually, this is very logical. If the meniscus is torn, it is obviously going to be painful and just like when you have a painful tooth, in order to find out which tooth exactly is the problem, you just push on it and you elicit the pain. And the same is true for the meniscus. Of course, you therefore need to know where the meniscus is exactly located, and more specifically the meniscus point, because that is the most sensitive part of the meniscus. Now, in order to find the meniscus point, you bring the knee in 90 degrees of flexion and you palpate the shin bone, which is the tibia, and which is easy to find because the shin bone is located immediately under the skin. And once you have located the shin bone, you move upwards with your finger or with your thumb until you reach a soft spot. And that soft spot is what we call the joint line. And then when you move over the joint line to the most medial part of the knee, this is the medial meniscus point. And likewise, when you go to the lateral side, and you go to the most lateral point, that is the lateral meniscus point. Now let's say you want to examine the medial meniscus. So you go to the medial meniscus point and you push on it with your thumb. And in doing so, you elicit the pain in case the medial meniscus is torn. Now many people wonder, how hard should I push? And there's an easy answer to that. You should push relatively firmly. The same magnitude of force that you would apply when pushing a thumbtack into a piece of plywood. That's the hardness with which you have to push. So many people, in fact, when they look for the meniscus point tenderness, they don't push hard enough and they think the test is negative. And that is wrong because if they would have pushed a little bit harder, as they should have done, they would have noticed that the test in reality is positive. So remember, the trick of the thumbtack into the plywood, that's the amount of force you should generate. And when this maneuver causes pain, the meniscal point tenderness test is positive, either on the medial side for a medial meniscus and obviously on the lateral side for the lateral meniscus. The second test is the hyperflexion rotation test. During this test, we actually squeeze the meniscus and therefore when there is a tear, we elicit the pain. That's what we're going to look for. So during the hyperflexion rotation test, you bring the knee into hyperflexion and the meniscus gets squeezed and even sometimes this is already enough to elicit the pain and obviously the test is then positive. But when there is a minor tear, you will have to associate rotation of the foot into the maneuver. And again, this can be firm rotation to squeeze the meniscus and elicit the pain. So whenever there is pain in the hyperflexion rotation test, this test is positive. In many books, you will read that you need to find a clicking sensation or so. Forget about this. Just the presence of pain makes the hyperflexion rotation test positive. And then there is the third test, the duck walk test. Everybody knows the duck walk. It is easy to do and actually the duck walk test is a somewhat more stringent variation of the hyperflexion rotation test. Because basically you're doing the same. The knee is brought into hyperflexion with rotation during the steps. But the difference is now that you're carrying full body weight. So it's a more rigorous type of test compared to the hyperflexion rotation test. So you ask the patient to do four steps with the duck walk and whenever there is pain during the duck walk, the duck walk test is positive. So once you have done all these three tests, you can come to the conclusion. When all three tests are positive, you definitely have a meniscus problem. When all three tests are negative, you almost 100% certainty have no meniscus problem. And if only one or two of the tests are positive, and therefore one stays negative, then you're kind of intermediate. It depends a bit on the severity of the symptoms and also the duration of the symptoms. Whenever in daily life you have a pain score that is higher than 2 in 10, and when the symptoms have been lasting longer than 4 weeks, 
then you should have an MRI for further clarification of your meniscus. So in case the pain score is less than 2 out of 10, and the pain is only there for a couple of days and seem to have disappeared after four weeks, you can be reassured. And you probably had some meniscal bruising or a small fissure or small tear that has healed and recovered by itself. So, with these three simple tests, you have what you need to judge about the status of your meniscus. Thank you for watching.